all it is students this topic is about uh, writing and uh, on you know be, being a reader we come across different types of writing in our life likewise ke if uh, a writer wants to you know convey something in a way way that he wants to persuade the reader or let's suppose if we if he want to claim something or possibly he wants to give the information about something or what you can say that he's he might be sharing his or her experience about some of his you know life events so on the basis of this these things we categorize different writing and these are the these are actually called as different types of writing and we should know when we start writing we should know what is actually the purpose of writing and on that purpose we differentiate among different writing so uh, the very first type of writing is or uh, you can say that writing or narrative text or narrative essay we can name in any way narrative uh, narr the word narrative actually is uh, derived from the word narration or narrate narrate means what when someone says something uh, about you know convey something about some experience or you know telling us uh, some uh, experience of his or her own life or telling you know a story about someone's life he's sharing something which actually has happened or not fictional bhi ho sakta hai to tell a story usually about something what that happened to you that happened to you that happened to the writer in such a way that the audience learns a lesson or gains insight most often we use narrative text to give the information uh, about something in a way that it must be it must be moral oriented let's suppose hum chote bachcho ko kahaniyan sunate hain and they are moral based stories and uh, इट मीन्स लाइक लेट सपोज एक उर्दू में या फिर इंग्लिश के अंदर हम कोई ऐसी चीज जिसके जरिए वो कुछ सीख सकें तो हम अपनी कहानियाँ बना देते हैं एक एक्सपीरियंस शेयर कर देते हैं तो वो या अपना पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस शेयर कर देते हैं इन अ वे दैट इट इट वुड बी लाइक अ स्टोरी narrative telling सॉरी नेरेटिव राइटिंग टेल्स अ स्टोरी और द पार्ट ऑफ अ स्टोरी नॉट नेसेसरिली uh it's you know it's a whole story ek ek chhota sa chunk le liya and one more thing is that it is not a necessity that every narrative writing do contain the personal experience of the author or of, of the writer probably i am discussing and i am narrating my friend's experience and i i want actually to tell someone to get in, to get insight of that story and i think that uh from that story someone could learn something so i might take it as a story and tell someone my younger students or my younger ones so these these are the narrative story and uh, another aspect of narrative text is that they usually um, in that type of text we usually use personal pronouns like i we I'm just giving you some of the example of the narrative text. Like, if you have heard about Robinson Crusoe, uh, Robinson Crusoe is one of the novel of uh, Daniel Defoe, and it's why uh, it's you know it was written there in 16th century, and uh, it's probably the very first narrative uh, novel of the writer. So he he used he actually used his experience as a fictional character. He actually took. the uh, you know uh, the experience of uh, a person and he placed that person in his place likewise that i um, went there and i um, i had a journey or i had a voyage over the ship and i did that and this not necessarily it was you know the very uh, you know a very real experience of uh daniel but he was actually having a fictional character in which he was using i and me pronoun okay another type descriptive text descriptive text it is seems lo to describe actually descriptive description say nikla to describe a person object or even so vividly means show so sharply 
that the reader feels like he or she could reach out and touch it itna matlab we we, sh- we can say that we cannot get the image of something when we visualize it and we can actually get the more vivid image when we are reading it so reading is a fun and when we are reading something we are imagining something and it's you know the art of the writer to write in a way that the reader can get the idea what actually the writer wants to say ye hota hai ki ek aisi silent communication hoti hai aur itni strong hoti hai that the reader wa- the reader enjoys uh, very well so uh, in descriptive writing we describe something let's suppose ke um, i am <clears throat> I am uh, writing, you know, uh, about Manju uh, Doro. I am describing that uh, that place in a way that I am telling all the things that I am telling. The archaeologists have done the researches. They have told them about it. What was actually the lifestyle of the Manju Doro's people? So, we are so beautiful, 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 so descriptive writing vividly portrays a person place or thing in such a way that the reader can visualize the topic and enter in the writer's experience this is what i i told you ke itni khoobsurti se bataya jata hai ke everything can be imagined easily aur bahut smoothly hum flow mein ja rahe hote hain lekin let's suppose if you have read any story any description to an an image actually create in your mind and if the writer is very well and uh, is is uh, the writer is very good at writing to uski jo uski jo word selection hogi wo itni beautifully constructed hogi writing ke hamara jo image hoga wo itna hi strengthen hoga acha descriptive writing and expository writing they are somehow you know interlinked interlinked but uh, some people actually differentiate among the among these te- uh, texts and some people say that they are somehow the very same thing but a, a thin line difference is there expository expose means to uncover or lay something bare means to you know uncover something to tell about the reality of that thing or to discover something in a way that others know what is it means let's suppose expository texts is uh, they are most oftenly uh, written in um, uh, science uh, books let's suppose if we are giving uh, any information they are you know on the based of on research or uske baad pe we are explaining something in a way that what we are claiming is right and expository essay is a genre of writing which tends to explain illustrate cal- clarify or explain explicate something in a way that it becomes clear for readers expose we are exposing something you know let's suppose ke if we are telling if if, if we are saying ke um, like uh, let's suppose uh, the total life of uh, so and so insect is 5 days so on what basis we are saying that what are the researches we did on that Uh, expository is somehow descriptive. Why we are saying it's description? May we are just we don't have the intention to expose something, but in expository text we actually expose something to uncover something. Okay, uh, there are different sub types of expository texts. Uh, process essay, comparison essay, cause effect, problem solution essay, and we can also uh, name them as the sub type. sub type of descriptive text the first one is the process text means let's suppose if we are exposing something if we are describing something so we are following a process in which we are showing the process you know steps of something or making of making of something a process as say explains or shows a process of making or doing something let's suppose if we are you know uh, giving the information about the life cycle of a mosquito or uh, probably i am telling you know the process of making uh, some wooden crafts or probably i am telling um, the process of uh, making some dish or so process of a more you you can say that a recipe in a descriptive way 
comparison essay. Comparison essay, a comparison essay uh, makes comparison and contrast between two things, obviously. Achha, here we draw the Venn diagram. Venn diagram is uh, two circles which some which are overlapping. So similarities come in, in you know, overlapping area and uh, differences we write there in the different area which are not matched which are not overlapped to those circle. This is how we make the Venn diagram. Some of, some of the students know what is the Venn diagram because they have read it there in, you know, economics or uh, in other subjects. So this is how we make the comparison essay. So comparison essay is, you know, you are telling something about two things and you are comparing. So it is maybe a expository or the descriptive essay. And uh, how actually we decide that which type of essay we are going to write, it depends on the topic of this topic of uh, the essay or topic of the writing. That what what a style of writing you must op uh, you must obtain or you must carry on while writing something. It depends on you know title, cause and effect. A cause and effect essay finds out the cause of something and then its effect on something else let's suppose if i say that um, the usage of the mobile phones or the excessive usage of mobile phone uh, adversely affect on the eyesight of the users this is you know one is one is the cause and one is the effect effect here eyesight and what is actually the cause the usage the excess excessive use of uh, mobile phones so this is how we you know decide that uh, under this topic we have to uh, uh, you know uh, we have to emphasize on the cause and its effect adverse effect and uh, uh, how actually we manage the essay on the basis of you know cause and effect what are actually the main causes and what are the effects and how we can sort out it depends that uh, about on it depends on you know the word limit or you know time limit or ideas as well that whether you are going to give the solution of that problem or not and not necessarily they we are we do claim the adverse effect we can also give the positive effect as well that social media has a positive effect on the mentality of uh, you know illiterate people so it is also the cause and effect essay not necessarily adverse effect another type of expository or you can say that the descriptive text is problem solution essay problem solution a problem solution is present a problem and its solution for the readers zaruri nahi hai ki question ke andar aapke paas problem ke saath solution bhi diya ho sometimes it is given as well you have to elaborate the solution but sometimes it is not given it the problem is only given in the question and you need to give the solution for the readers as well for example, an essay is an essay to be written by the student is like um, the traffic congestion creates a lot of problem for citizens. A, it, there is a problem and you need to give the solution to this problem. Similarly, this sentence could be like the pro, uh, traffic congestion produces pollution and uh, what else? Uh, uh, or, or you can say that uh, the traffic congestion produces pollution in the society. So the problem is also there and, you know, what actually it creates effect be the other. But you need to give the solution to this problem. And you can also say that problem, uh, sorry, uh, traffic congestion can be reduced by minimizing the ownership of the cars. Uh, the solution is also given here. Now, you people need to elaborate it thoroughly and you need to stuck on this solution only. If the solution is there in the topic, you just need to stuck to the top, uh, to that solution. Now, you don't have solutions. Okay, another, which, another type of text which is uh, somehow different with the uh, sorry, um, expository and uh, narrative. Persuasive te text. Persuasive means 
when you want to persuade something persuade means you encourage someone to do this or that to be in on that point or this point a persuasive essay is one in which you attempt to get the reader to agree with your point or your point of view let's suppose if we are telling something that uh, uh, so and so milk is good for health but if i want someone to tell that only this milk is good and uh, i want someone to convince to my point without giving giving sometimes in persuasive text we don't give the sound and effective evidences to this is the difference between persuasive and argumentative writing when we are discussing when we discuss actually the argumentative writing i would give you a thin line difference of persuasive and the argumentative text here when we talk about persuasive text persuasive text means when you persuade something most often this type of language or this type of tone is used for marketing because we don't compare our thing with we don't want to actually to compare our thing with the other we think or the marketers thinks Uh, the marketers think that only their product is the best and they don't they actually they don't give any consideration to the other product starting point means when we encounter I mean when we want to write something uh, uh um, based on persuasion the starting point you first need to identify your topic and choose your side let's suppose if it's not you know the essay on marketing but it's uh based on some opinion so what is actually the method you need to choose your side of consideration first of all you must choose on what on what way or on what side you want to write on or on what way you are with purpose get the reader to agree with your opinion whatever you are saying saying the purpose of writing persuasive writing is to persuade the reader now this is actually the difference tone kya hoti hai the tone is emotionally charged because you want to just kehte hain na ki jisko hum aam fehm alfaz mein urdu mein kaha jata hai ki jaise hum behas kar rahe hain ab wo behas ek hoti hai behas barae isla aur ek hoti hai na jo hum kehte hain na tanqeed jo hoti hai to persuasive writing mein we just want to persuade our purpose is to persuade bas humne karna hai kisi bhi tarah se that is why our our tone is emotional emotionally charged and more aggressive as well ab wo ab one can ask this question ke bhai ek writing ke andar aggressive or charged emotionally charged kaise pata chalega this is actually based on the selection of appropriate words words speak kehte na words bahut achhi tarah se aapko bata rahe hote hain ke what actually the writer is telling and what the focus is of writer techniques uh, for the combines facts with emotions however one one wants to give something uh, factual based but with emotion matlab look this is this is what actually happened you have you seen this is tarah ki tone lekar aate hain to convince the reader that the author is right means whatever i am saying is right on this and that basis emotion based ignores counter claims in most often case or most most often cases the persuasive writing ignores others opinion yani ki jo aapka counter comment hota hai counter claim hota hai we just ignore it present a only ideas that help establish a position yani ki you just want to occupy a position in which you think that you are right and you just want only to you know uh, to to save your side of you only present one side the author side means in persuasive writing most often we neglect others opinion makes claim without evidence sometimes evidence ke baghair bhi yahan par apne claims ko diye diya jata hai just say um, let's suppose i'm i'm giving you some you know silly examples ki wo क्लासरूम में भी मैंने ये बताया था शायद 
किसी को कि वो टाइगर बिस्किट है और वो टाइगर बिस्किट वो पाँच रुपए का पता नहीं आई डोंट नो फाइव रुपीज का टेन रुपीज का लेकिन वो क्या होता है कि उससे ताकत भी आ रही है उससे ये भी हो रहा है पता नहीं क्या क्या उसके अंदर मिल रहा है तो हाउ एवर एवरीबडी एवरीबडी नो उसके ऐसा नहीं हो सकता कि एक इतनी चीप चीज के अंदर सारी एनर्जी आ गई है ऐसा पॉसिबल नहीं है तो एडवर्टाइजमेंट में या मार्केटिंग में ऐसा बहुत होता है नॉट ऑन नॉट ओनली ऑन द साइड ऑफ राइटिंग बट वर्बली भी बहुत ज़्यादा होता है ठीक है तो हम राइटिंग में जब हम कोई पैराग्राफिंग कर रहे होते हैं लेट सपोज ब्रोशर बना रहे हैं किसी यूनिवर्सिटी का लेट सपोज हम कोई प्रोजेक्ट स्टार्ट कर रहे हैं तो उसका हमने टैंडर नोटिस बनाया है बट जिस तरह की चीज़ें जो हम इस्तेमाल करते हैं वो सारी चीज़ के साथ सारी जो क्या होती हैं वो बेस करती हैं समटाइम्स दे मतलब वी जस्ट वांट टू शो आर सेल्फ ऑन द बेस्ट साइड तो हम ऐसे भी क्लेम्स इस्तेमाल करते हैं जो कि प्रूव इन नहीं होते हैं ओके आर्ग्यूमेंटेटिव अच्छा सम पीपल से जस्ट लाइक एक्सपोजिटरी एंड डिस्क्रिप्टिव दे आर इंटरलिंक सिमिलरली आर्ग्यूमेंटेटिव एंड परसुएसिव राइटिंग आर ऑल्सो इंटरलिंक इफ यू सी इफ यू चेक Uh, persuasive writing on internet they may say it as argumentative writing or they ke, they they also say that it is one of the type of argumentative writing so the uh, persuasive and argumentative writing are somehow linked but obviously there's a difference what is actually the difference difference is uh, let's suppose uh, first read the definition that an argumentative essay is an essay that uses evidence and facts to support the claim it's making yani ke humne last time kya padha tha matlab like persuasive writing mein evidences are not used most often they are not used its purpose is to persuade the reader to agree with the argument being made matlab persuasion to hai but on the basis of sound and proved uh, claims facts factual based hota hai you want to convey obviously argumentative means you put an argument on but on what basis you are putting an argument is more important in argumentative writing you give some evidences some facts but you are not actually giving your opinion that this is what i think in persuasive you can claim that i am thinking i think in this way but on what basis this is important A good argumentative essay will use facts and evidence to support the argument rather than the author's thoughts and opinion. Just say, "Ota na prejudice thinking." It means I think that so and so group of people are very, you know, dumb. This is my thinking. But on what basis I am saying this? Let's suppose if I say that the girls are, you know, they are the girls are good, a uh, good. Uh, in solving mathematic mathematical expressions up on what basis i am i am saying this just being a girl i am saying this or just this is my own experience i am saying this this is the difference between argumentative and persuasive persuasive means what i am thinking i am saying this but on what basis if i say that if i say the very similar thing that if i let, let's suppose i am writing an essay and or a writing on Mm, girls are you know good in solving mathematical expressions so if i'm giving any research based uh, theory okay yes they have proven this and so person has proven this and it was observed it was also uh, observed by so and so person or mathematicians tab i can claim it tab it then, then only it become an argumentative writing okay tips for writing a good argumentative actually we will more focus on tips or uh, uh, argumentative writing means most in most of the cases writers like you know um, uh, mass communications writers or you know uh, normal writers or the business administration writers they usually write argumentative essays in their professional lives so what is actually the tip Uh, the main tips or the main uh, points to be focused on while writing argumentative writing are thesis crystal clear Ma- making your thesis crystal uh, sorry crystal clear thesis means thesis statement means your side aap jis side ke upar hain aisa to nahi hai ki through your paragraph through your reading 
जो राइटर है वो मिड पॉइंट में ही रहा मतलब उसको समझ ही नहीं आ रहा कि वॉट इज एक्चुअली द पॉइंट ऑफ द राइटर समटाइम्स ऐसा होता है ना कि वी आर नॉट मतलब वी आर एक्चुअली गिविंग द आइडियाज ऑफ द बोथ साइड बाय साइड मतलब दो बोथ ओपिनियन साइड बाय साइड वी आर लिस्टिंग डाउन द बोथ थिंग्स इक्वली एंड वी एंड एंड आर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू मीन्स ऑन वॉट बेसिस वी आर राइटिंग इज अनकलेयर टू द रीडर तो हमारा हमारा जो अर्गमेंटेटिव राइटिंग है वो मीनिंगफुल नहीं होगा पर्पसफुल नहीं होगा योर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू शुड बी क्लस्टर क्लेयर शो वाई द अदर साइड इज वीक अच्छा लेट सपोज इफ यू हैव चूज इन वन ऑफ योर साइड दैट दिस इज द यू नो द साइड टू सपोर्ट सो ऑन वॉट बेसिस यू आर सेन दिस वाई यू थिंक दैट द अदर्स ओपिनियन इज वीक और सो इज वीकर दैन योर ओपिनियन एंड you must know that uh, so if the so and so person says this so why they are saying this and why their claim is wrong use evidence to support your side and if you are claiming that you think that this side is you know worthy or this side is is uh, worthy of consideration so why you are saying this so you should use evidence facts and you know uh, any references to support your side this is the most important thing for the argumentative writing okay five types of argument claims sometimes kya hota hai ke the uh, we are you know often get confused ke or what type of writing we need to write on so uh, five types of argument claims facts लेट सपोज एक कोई भी एक क्वेश्चन दिया हुआ है एंड यू आर यू आर जस्ट सपोज टू गिव द आइडिया दैट इज इट ट्रू और नॉट इफ यू थिंक दैट इट इज ट्रू सो वाई ऑन वॉट बेस इज यू आर सींग दिस एंड इफ इफ यू से दैट इट इज नॉट ट्रू देन ऑन वॉट बेस इज यू आर सींग दिस लेट सपोज ड्रिंकिंग एट और यू नो टू लीटर्स ऑफ वॉट वॉटर और फोर लीटर्स ऑफ वॉटर अ डे uh is healthy for every human so it's a fact but do you think that it's true or not a uh, probably a uh, question come in your mind ke fact to hamesha truth hi hoga nahi there could be different things which can be you know uh, which can be uh, objected on to ab wo bhi wo facts ho sakte hain lekin aap usko claim kar sakte hain ki you are not thinking bhai inhi ki basis ke upar research hoti hai मतलब आप देखते हैं कि नहीं सम पीपल से दैट बट यू थिंक दैट नो नो इट इज नॉट द राइट तो आप यू प्रपोज अ रिसर्च पेपर ऑन दैट बिकॉज यू आर क्लेमिंग और दिस इज हाउ द नॉलेज जेनरेट्स कि यू आर एक्चुअली चैलेंज समबडीज क्लेम कि नहीं दिस इज नॉट द राइट थिंग डेफिनेशन व्हाट डज इट रियली मीन मीन्स यू आर लेट सपोज इफ समी से एक क्लेम कहता है कि वो सॉरी एक आर्ग्यूमेंट है विच क्लेमिंग समथिंग विच क्लेम समथिंग इन इन अ वे के भाई दिस इज व्हाट इट प्रोटेज प्रोट्रेज लेट सपोज लाइब्रेरी इज एन इफेक्टिव इफेक्टिव वे टू इनहेंस योर नॉलेज अब इसका ये डिफिनेशन दे दिया है अब Do you agree with this or not? ये आपका फिर argument बन जाएगा How important is it? Do you think? Let's suppose if I say that the learning of second language is value oriented for the development of a child. Do you think it is important or not? No, now here we can make the another claim. Cause and effect. What is the cause and what are the effects? अच्छा कॉज एंड इफेक्ट उसमें भी आता है जो हमने पढ़ा था अभी इससे पहले कॉज एंड इफेक्ट में हम आर्ग्यूमेंट क्लेम भी कर सकते हैं मतलब डू यू थिंक कि यस द ट्रैफिक कंजेशन ओनली क्रिएट्स प्रॉब्लम्स प्रोबेबली ट्रैफिक ट्रैफिक कंजेशन कैन नॉट बी अवॉइडेड सो हाउ एवर इट इज कॉजिंग डिफरेंट इफेक्ट्स बट वी कैन यू नो गिव द ऑल्टरनेट्स टू दिस प्रॉब्लम Not necessarily कि हम मिनिमाइज ही कर दें नंबर ऑफ कार्स के ऊपर ठीक है तो कॉज एंड इफेक्ट जो भी आपको क्वेश्चन के अंदर दिए हुए हैं वेदर यू अग्री और नॉट 
policy what should we do about it let's suppose a solution aapko diya hua hai this is a problem solution what should we do about it so let's suppose a problem hi di gaya khali and ek usi ki hi sentence ke andar aage diya hua hai ki this could be the effective way to minimize that solution whether you agree with that policy or not let's suppose if, if it is written that corporal punishment should be avoided to uh, mm, 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 to build the confidence in the students so whether you agree that corporal punishment should should be avoided or not so this is policy one wants to implement so on on that basis what you think okay argumentative text a starting point means when you have made your mind that you are going to write an argumentative writing so what is actually uh, the way to start identify your topic research your topic and decide which side to support whomever i have addressed uh, uh, the same same topic in the classroom i have told you that whenever you want to write something on a topic first read it thoroughly because through reading you get multiple kind of ideas probably you may change your mind because you don't have enough information about that topic and you think that it could be right but when you read something you get the idea no you were wrong probably the other side is more uh, is is more considerate acha identify your topic research your topic and decide which side to support this is how you can you know have the uh, opportunity to gather the claims and evidences claim evidences facts for your argument what is actually the purpose of argumentative writing get the reader to recognize your side of argument is valid means whatever you are saying is valid so purpose is this when your purpose is this to so this validity can only be supported by different evidences different claims and different facts ab ye nahi kahenge ki bhai mere sath aisa hua tha aisa aisa to i think this so this is this couldn't be called as a good argumentative text tone kaise hone chahiye there is a calmer tone of just trying to get the reader to acknowledge the author side is worthy of consideration but the mapki badi sukoon wale tone hoti hai you are not convincing someone you are just telling that my side is a worthy consideration because of these and these reasons if someone agrees then it would be fine and if somebody you know disagree with the with the point you won't convince them to agree on your point so the main purpose the main idea hai for argumentative writing ka wo yahi hai ki your your uh, opinion would be clear enough that you want to show that on these sound and proof evidences proof evidences you are claiming something whether the writer agrees agrees with it or not it's his task aapka task ye nahi hai aapka task kya hai ki your side of argument you 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 uh, tell the reader that your side is more valid techniques what things to be considered uh, while composing argumentative essay offers facts reasons and evidence to show the author has valid point yani ki aapke evidence is bade proved proven ho reasons aap bade factuals dein logic based aisa nahi hai ki you think bhai you think that uh, mm, let's suppose uh, if i say that mm, 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 you think uh, that black color has uh, a negative effect on the psyche of uh, human ab this is my claim ab iske andar kitni logical uh, in logical baat hai yani ki ek logic logic kitni hai uske andar this is actually uh, the main point if it is you know if it is illogical kind of thing so it wouldn't be called an argumentative writing because you won't be able to gather sound if ev- ev- evidences you're not able to get the reasons and the facts on that basis the logical base hoga jab bhi you can gather different evidences different you know references to acknowledge your point of view 
एक और चीज ये है जो कि डिफरेंट है परसुएसिव राइटिंग में दैट ऑर्गुमेंटेटिव राइटिंग एक्नोलेज द ओपोजिंग क्लेम्स ऐसा नहीं है कि वट एवर द अदर पर्सन ओपिनियन वी टोटली निगलेक्टेड बट इन इन ऑर्गुमेंटेटिव राइटिंग वी एक्चुअली गिव द एक्नोलेजमेंट टू द अदर्स ओपिनियन एज वेल दैट सो एंड सो पर्सन से दिस ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दिस बट माई ओपिनियन इज दिस 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 ऑन सो एंड सो एविडेंसेस may compare ideas to establish a position may compare ideas means the others ideas wo hum bata rahe hain and we are comparing those ideas with that of the other on so when so on particular basis to so, taaki your position would be clear presents multiple sides but it is clear which is the author signs matlab aisa nahi hai ki jitne bhi uski possible ideas hain possible thinking hain possible minds and sides hain sorry my mindsets hain we do we do clarify we do include them in the essay but at the very same time our author side must be clear ki on what side the clear uh, the author is agar hamara hi side yani ki jo writers ka side hai wo intermix ho jayega on ideas mein to the reader won't be able to get the author's uh, author's point of view always provides evidence with claim ye multiple times likha hua hai yahan par evidences evidences claims yani ki let's suppose ki hum koi research paper humne padha humne kaha ki so and so researcher ne bhi aise hi kaha hai so we are just including those evidences in our right. so so and so jagah ke upar research hui thi and uh, statistics ye kehte hain we are including it to jo bhi hamare paas uh, evidences hote hain some proven evidences ye nahi ki meri amma ne khwab mein dekh liya tha wahi maine bataya tha aapko ke ya ye ke mujhe aisa lagta hai to who you are and who is your mother nobody knows so you should give the evidences which which are proven which are you know acceptable uh, for all okay hey, there is a chart which is given here um three types of writing jo inhi ke upar hum mainly focus kar rahe hote hain first one is opinion writing opinion based writing you can say persuasive writing and the argumentative writing what is the difference between all purpose is different pehle mein opinion share karte hain second mein you want to agree uh, you want a right reader to get agree with you argumentative uh, argumentative writing mein uh, to get the reader to accept his perspective you know matlab whether he agree or disagree the reader gets the idea general technique kya hai opinion mein whatever he thinks and why he thinks सिमिलरली परसुएसिव में भी ऐसा ही है परसुएसिव में क्या है कि ब्लेंडेड विथ फैक्ट्स समटाइम्स फैक्ट्स दिए हुए होते हैं और समटाइम्स नहीं बट कन्विन मतलब वी वॉन्ट टू कन्विंस एर्गुमेंटेटिव में भी रेलिवेंट रीजन एंड क्रेडिबल डेटा आर ब्लैंडेड टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट यानी कि वॉट एवर द राइटर इज सेंग इट इज ब्लेंडेड द ओपिनियन इज ब्लेंडेड विद रीजन एंड डेटा ऑडियंस audience obviously opinion based mein the writer seeks to be heard and wants to share his idea matlab iska ye koi nahi hota ke ke matlab like he wants to voice his thought matlab uska main purpose kya hota hai ki bas wo jo likh raha hai usko padha jaye he just want to share his ideas persuasive mein an audience ko to address his request or need to who can give him what he wants he address actually uski audience hoti kaun hai टारगेट ऑडियंस वो होती है जिनको परसुएट करना चाहता है वो सबके लिए नहीं लिखता आर्गुमेंटेटिव में क्या राइटर डजेंट नीड एन इंटेंडेड ऑडियंस उसको नहीं है उसको ये परवाह नहीं है कि वेदर द ऑडियंस इज गेटिंग एग्री और नॉट द बस उसको जो मेन पर्पस होता है वो सेटिस्फाई होता है सिंपली बाय पुटिंग द ट्रूथ आउट देयर मतलब जो भी सच बात है ना वो उसको कहना चाहता है opinion a point of view kya hota predominantly concerned with stating his opinion jaise wo khud se jaise hum uh, narrative mein likhte hain yani ki apna experience bata raha hai persuasive mein communicating directly to a person group organization is common to use first person yahan par bhi i think that because point point of view hota hai 
argumentative may with no specific audience in mind this more formal writing addresses the multiple sides of an issue yani are using the more objective third person yani ki hum iske andar passive voice istemal karte hain because everybody thinks so this is not my opinion attitude opinions writers are excited about their own ideas and eager to share them with matlab unka attitude yahi hota hai ki they are more like to uh, share their opinion परसुएसिव में क्या होता है अग्रेसिवली इनके टोन होती है एटीट्यूड वही हमने बताया था इमोशनल स्ट्रेटेजी होती है आर्ग्यूमेंटेटिव में क्या है मेंटेन अ टोन ऑफ फेयरनेस एंड रीजनेबलनेस राइट परस्पेक्टिव प्रेजेंटेड सिंगल माइंडेड गोल परसुएसिव में क्या है गेट व्हाट द राइटर वांट्स हैज सिंगल माइंडेड गोल मतलब जो भी मेरा है बस वो बात सही है और आर्ग्यूमेंटेटिव में एक्नॉलेजेस अदर ओपिनियंस एज वेल अच्छा जी ओपिनियन में स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट पिक अ टॉपिक डिसाइड व्हाट यू थिंक राइट ड्रॉ और टॉक अबाउट इट परसुएसिव में पिक अ टॉपिक ऑफ इंटरेस्ट चूज अ साइड टू फाइट फॉर दिस इज द इंपोर्टेंट फाइट फॉर इन स्टार्ट राइटिंग आर्गुमेंटेटिव में रिसर्च करते हैं कि जो हम कर रहे हैं तो कौन सी बेसिस पे कर रहे हैं अलाइन विद द स्ट्रांगेस्ट साइड और फिर कंटिन्यू करते हैं फैक्ट्स और रिसर्च की बेसिस पे ऊपर ओपिनियन पीसेस रिलाई सोली ऑन ओपिनियंस एंड फीलिंग्स परसुएसिव में क्या होता है सोली ऑन ओपिनियंस एंड फीलिंग्स द राइटर यूजेस हिज ओन पैशन अपना इमोशंस बहुत ज्यादा होते हैं एंड व्हाट अबाउट द आर्ग्यूमेंटेटिव रिलाई ऑन लॉजिकल रीजंस दैट आर ऑल सब्सटेंशिएटेड बाय फैक्ट्स डेटा एक्सपर्ट कोट्स एंड एविडेंस दिस इज एक्चुअली द एंड नाउ व्हाट यू पीपल नीड टू डू इज यू नीड टू सेलेक्ट एन एग्जांपलरी एसे ऑफ ऑल द टाइप्स ऑफ टेक्स्ट जो भी हमने डिस्कस किए टाइप्स ऑफ राइटिंग के types of text ke you need to gather the uh, examples of such essays and ke bhai why we are saying ke this essay is uh, expository or this essay is persuasive or argumentative sub types ke nahi kijiyega sirf jo main types hain you just need to select one essay example uh, exemplary essay of these types thank you